Biafran's Got Talent exclusive. After this heavy rain, please let the sun rise. Our lives are in danger, siblings and more that all day long we have a rule by strangers. Yes, once again, fellow Bia France lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscientious people wherever you are all over the world, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London, being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. His name is Mazu Chiu Kafomefo. He is from Abatiti. Abatiti is in Anambra State. And Anambra State is Biafra land. He's the man who has assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. Mazu Chiu Kafomefo is standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader Mazen and Yoku Kano, the Prince of Afari Beku heir to the throne of Ibeku Kingdom, the one and the only man that stood up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people for almost 60 years now. He's from Afali Beku. Afali Beku is in Omohia. Omohia is in Abia State, and Abia State is Biafra land. By the special grace of Chukuki Kabi, I'm a remain George Onibi. I am from Abo. Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. This morning, we must proceed to acknowledge the creator, Chukuki Kabiyama, the one who sits in heaven and presides over the affair of man. And in my humble way, I say to him this morning, Anyinajage <laughs> Ebu wafa no mega. Ani ni ni na se na ne de mau. Isi. 
This morning, we will be going to our topic, which is simply titled, What Have They Been Thinking About Us? What Have They Been Thinking About Us? The Bible says, From the abundance of the heart does the mouth speak. It is from what you are thinking, you speak. You just don't speak except you are thinking. And if there is anybody who speaks without thinking, there is more hope for a fool than that person. Whether they thought you were meticulously constructed, analyzed before you speak, but there is that aspect of it that cannot be overruled. You must have thought what you are saying. It could not be immediately. You must have thought about it hours before that time, even days before that time. And so when the opportunity comes, it's easy for you to express everything. You see, when somebody just come out and attack you, just for no reason, it is because they've been thinking about that attack. They've been setting that trap for you, waiting for you. They are waiting for you. And the moment you make that mistake to fall into their trap, they unleash hell against you. That is because they've been thinking about it. They were just waiting for the right time. And if you can't think it, you will see it. And if you can't see it, it will be made manifest. There are stages in life which lead to the to creation or manifestation. This process starts with thought. And this thought progresses into words and finally manifests through our action. In other words, what people think about you is very important that you find out as it is going to lead you to find out what they are going to do to you next. There are some people that just don't have any reason to quarry them. But when they make certain mistakes in my life, I push them back to where from where they are coming. Because I know what they think. And because I know what they think, I know what they are going to say next. And because I know what they are going to say next, I know what their action will be next. And so I don't wait for them to kill me. I do not wait for them to say what they want to say. I do not want them to bring me down before I realize, no, I get ready for them. And so this morning, it is very important that we begin to ask ourselves, what has Nigeria been thinking about you as a Biafra? Honestly, what has Nigeria been thinking about you as a Biafra? When I look at the people who homo sapiens, I see the way they behave. I know what they think about you. I know what they think about us. And certainly I know what they would do. Since I was born to this very moment, I have never seen the Western media talk about the good of black people. And then sometimes I begin to wonder, do you think the black will ever be free? They are not thinking this way because they are the perpetrators of this evil. I have never seen Western media promote or project the image of the black man in a positive light. It broke my heart this morning that one of the uh, videos I went through was BBC. I for Africa. And what did BBC see in Africa? A woman who became a chakwando, a karate, a sport woman. Not because she was motivated, not because she loves sport, but because she was ripped at the age of eight years. And that is to turn the black woman against the black man. The black man ripped her and then she became a sport warrior. This is what they think about us. They soon speak it and they do it. It brings us down to where we are starting off from this morning. The zoo called Nigeria. What do they think about you? It's just a simple question. You say you have uh, our sir. What does Fulani think about you? Because Fulani are the demon who is holding this hair called Nigeria. British government are the demon that is sustaining the hair called. The question you should ask yourself today is that as a full Awosa man, what do the hair, the zoo called Nigeria think about you?
as a bureau man, as a new pay man, as a Yoruba man that you are, dying inside one Nigeria. What does Nigeria think about you? As a Biafran, 419 Biafran, selling off your people because you want to be politically relevant. What does Nigeria say about you? Of course, we in IPOB, we know what Nigeria thinks about us. We know what they are going to do next, and we are ready for them. And now maybe you begin to understand where we are coming from in order to appreciate where we are going to learn this morning. There is a video online. It's, it's quite, it has been there for some time now. And each time I look at this video, I, I, I just see certain things, certain truths that cannot be overlooked at. So that way you say you are in Nigeria, you should be able to understand how these people see you, what they are thinking about you. There is a place called Halu Chamber. In this Halu Chamber, members of the House of Rep were busy showcasing their wife. They were busy in a Halu Chamber, a place where normal human beings are supposed to reason. A mark law that will benefit the people. A mark law that will make the land to be developed. In your whole Halu Chamber. This is what they think about you. That is what led to whatever they are saying. Mr. Speaker, I would like to let you know that with me today here are my four respected wives. Halima, can stand up, please? Four. One. Uma, stand up. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, these four wives you have seen have produced 27 kids for me, and I'm still counting, I'm still counting. I must bring to the knowledge. Can anybody tell me that Nigerian lawmakers are different from the album somewhere in Uju Eleba? Under the bridge, you a labor. Can you tell me now, as a Nigerian listening to me? You know, you people's problem is oh, they insult people, but God will punish all of you. Can you tell me that Nigerian lawmaker who are showcasing their wife and their children in the hallowed chamber? Imagine Donald Trump. Imagine American lawmakers coming up to tell them how many wives they have. This is because of what they think about you. Can you tell me the difference between those Yoruba who wonder who should decide or who should you key? Compare them with your lawmakers in Nigeria. But all these things are because of what they think about you. They think you are a stupid person. They think you are hopeless. Forget about those your PhD. Forget about those your fake exposure. This fool, this tout who are in the corridor of power because that is exactly how British government wanted. They think you are stupid. Look at them. They come to make law. They are showcasing their wife. He's a warrior, woman warrior. Because this is what they think about us. Edge of this house, a little anecdote. What you told me some time ago. You told me it was getting late. No, don't beg me. <laughs> you told me it was getting late around seven o'clock, and there were many children playing in front of your house in Kano, in your compound. About nine, eight, nine. And you got worried and you went out. And you told the children, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? Is this time of that you people should go home. Go to your homes. And one of them said to you, Haba Baba, this is my house. And now I hope you understand what the other idiot senator is telling him. The man that is boasting he has four wives, 27 children. He don't even know his children. It's some, somebody that does not know his children. Can you tell me how you want to know your children? You should know how these people think and what they think about you. And maybe you will begin to understand why we come here and we say thunder will fire all of you and God will punish all of you while Nigerian is. Somebody who don't even know his children. He came back at night and met his children playing outside. He started chasing them. Go home, it's night, it's night. That is what the other idiot senator is trying to tell him. But all that drunkard are there smiling. <laughs> they are your lawmaker. Do you know how many billions that have been voted or that have been released for such program to be heard? 
But all these things boil down to one thing. They do, what do you, it's all about what do they think about you. This is what they have been thinking about you. They don't give a bluff about who you are. What IPOB is here to do is to expose all of them. It really doesn't matter. Those who are the, are the corridor of power in Nigeria, they think less about you. And it is time. You need to find out what they think about you. In all that ways, what people think about you is very important. That you find out, as it is going to lead you to find out what they are going to do next. Honestly, some people say, I don't care what they say. You better don't care what they say when you have nothing to do with them. Because if I don't have anything to do with you, whatever you like, see, or do, it doesn't concern me. But when I have something to do with you, please, what you see concerns me. If I have nothing to do with Nigeria, what they see doesn't concern me. Because what they will do will never get close to me. But I found myself in an enclave. A zoo telling me I'm in Nigeria and I say I'm not in Nigeria. And so what they think about me is very important. You proud Nigerians. They are those that we are your, your senator. One of them don't even know his children. This is how bad it can be. He don't recognize his children. He came back from club midnight and saw his children outside. He started chasing them. Oh, you children, go home. It's late. It's late. And one of the sons said, Ah, oh, daddy, we are your children now. A man that cannot recognize his own children. And he's telling you he's 17 oh, or he's 27 no. Oh. How does he even know he's the one who pregnant all of them? And he's walking very hard on top of bed. Is it not the same thing that Buhari went to diaspora and tell them his wife belonged to other room? His wife belonged to other room. If these people as old as they are can be thinking this about you, their thought is not how to develop Nigeria. Their thought is not how to give you medical health facility. Of course, we will pay for it. Their thought is not to give you good road. Their thought is not for you to become human being. What are they taught? You should know. One of the greatest confidence assurance any believer has is that God say, I know the thought I have for you. They are thought of good and not evil. That I may give you your expected end. So what are they thought of Nigeria for all of you? What are they thought of Fulani and British government for all the prisoners in Nigeria? When I listen to the discussion of some of Nigerian lawmakers, like we have just listened to, I see how they value us, how they evaluate us. And so I think it is important we begin to ask ourselves some of these following questions, as they will help us to reevaluate our stand and understand what it is there for us as a people who have found themselves in Nigeria. I want you to ask yourself. What were they thinking when they created Boko Haram? If anybody is still looking for how Boko Haram started, Nigerian government created Boko Haram with the help of President Obama, former president of America, to chase good luck out of office. You heard me well. I'm not putting British government because British government are known all over the world for funding terrorists. The world know you and support terrorists more than anything. And so these are they are not concerned to me, but we are looking at Boko Haram. The people who from Boko Haram, what were they thinking about you? President Obama came to American taxpayers' money, came to Nigeria with the one they are stealing, collaborated with British government from Boko Haram just to make sure that the government of Good Luck Ibiri Jonathan it tarnished, they tarnished its image and chased him out of office, which Obama succeeded in doing. And I hope he's enjoying his Buhari. So those people who form Boko Haram, ask yourself, what were they thinking? Oh, they bring Boko Haram to take us to Allah. But, but who, who is the uh, worshiper of Allah here? Of course, Facebook has started, but we are here. 
we are not going anywhere. So the, the point is that who, who, why did they form Boko Haram? What were they thinking about you? Oh, let us organize some group of people. We chase good luck out of office. And then after chasing good luck out of office, then they now hold those boys and silence them. Is that not what led to Boko Haram to what it is today? They have finished their job, but they are not backing down. They are not going anywhere. They need more. They want more. And so, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? But people must understand that they have intention. There is something they were thinking. The question is, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Those who create Boko Haram, what are they thinking about you? Oh, they, are, they are arranging some boys. They will used to harass you and intimidate you. Now those boys are harassing and intimidating them. Is God not wonderful? So when you say, oh, this is our Nigerian leaders, oh, this is our... You should ask yourself this genuine question. What were they thinking about you when they mounted checking point every corner in our in Biafra land? More than half of Nigerian military personnel are in Afali Beku, in the house of our leader, Mazen and Kano. And they are running from Sabisa Forest. They are running from Boko Haram they created. And now the people in Omaha, here, what are they thinking? Oh, Fulani Ame, Janja with Fulani Ame, love them. They come to protect Omaha people. What is their thought? What are they thinking? When those Nigerian Janja with Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram, are everywhere in Omaha, here, ask yourself this question Omaha, here, Fali Beku people, what are they to do? If you are not able to find out what they are thinking about you, they are going to slaughter all of you. But of course, we dare them. Everywhere in Biafra land, they are mounting checking point. What are they thinking? Some of you think they want to protect you from courtes. They are the courtes. No, they want to protect you from kidnapper. They are the kidnapper. Oh, they are here to safeguard your land. But they are the one who has turned your land into a theater of war and have endangered you. If you don't know what they are thinking, you will be praising those people who are killing you. Ask yourself a simple question. Why all the checking points? In Boronu, there is no single checking point. The distance between Abuja to Kano or Kaduna is more than the distance from Edu State down to River State. But there is no single checking point. If you see any Boko Haram army or police on the highway, they are packing and relaxing, chilling out with Coca-Cola. But just cross a two state. You will know Nigerian police, army, all of them are out. They are criminal, they are kidnapper, they are the arm robber, they are the Uli, they are the Barawu, they are everything imaginable. And if they are this thing I have rightly said, and they are everywhere, what are they doing? So those of you in Afari Beku now, you see them parading with Amon Tanka. They say, no, we are showing our force. We want to make sure no criminal here. Who is the criminal? This is what you should ask yourself. What were the Nigerian state thinking when they closed the border for importation of food? And the same border, they opened it for all the Fulani all over Africa to come in. Most of you have forgotten that Nigeria is a visaless country. Open border for all. They want everybody to come into Nigeria and become Nigerian citizens. Free. All you need to do is carry cow to become a first can citizen. But they don't want food to come in. Don't you think? What are they really? What are, what are they thinking? They think you are stupid. They think you are foolish. They have to kill. Fulani have to kill Biron people. Another Fulani in West Africa will take over uh, Biron people land. Fulani have to kill Gwari people. They will use other Fulani in West Africa to destroy Gwari people and take over Abuja. Fulani will kill Yoruba. And that is why Yoruba form a Motekon. So they close border so that hungry will kill all of you. And open the same border so that their own people can come in, their own Fulani can come in and kill you. What were they thinking? No, what do you think they were thinking when they say oh, everybody can come to Nigeria without visa? 
What do you think Nigeria were thinking the day they wake up and say they want to uh, pass a hate speech bill? Because they don't love insult or they, they insult key person. Does insult tear cloth? Insult don't tear cloth. But of course, it helps us to reveal who you really are, your true nature. You think they love you? you know, our leader, one of his brokers, he said in the 80s, they were pampering black people. Oh, black is beautiful. Black is beautiful. All the whole black is beautiful. Where did he lead you to? You don't need pamper. You, we, you need for us to tell you you are a chimpanzee and rightfully so you are. We come out here, we tell you you are a monkey. Rightfully you are. Not because they said, because we said so. And your action endorses it. When I tell you Nigerian senators are all out and hooligans, somebody say no, but their actions prove it. Because I do not know for the life of mine why somebody will say supposedly a hollow chamber, a lawmaker, trying to exhibit his uh, foolishness before the global community. He don't even know his children. His fellow drunk in the hollow chamber told him, oh God, remember the story you told me. That you didn't even remember your children. Again, you entered your house and you saw your children at home midnight. You start chasing them to go. 27 children. What a word. And this is the uh, lawmaker. And somebody's going to tell you, you know, according to the constitution of Nigeria, he, 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 but who is in Nigeria? What are they thinking about you? What were they thinking about you when they deliberately shut down seaport in our land? Go back to history. Mongo Park entered through Calabar port. Mary Slesso entered through Calabar port, including Samuel Ajayi Crowder. All of them entered through Calabar port. Theresa May ancestors for hundreds of years have been entering through Calabar port. Why did they shut it down? What were they thinking? Oh, so that big ship will not flash water inside the upland abbey. But of course, you are daft. You want us to say you are smart. And you can tell us, oh, we are Calabarian. Uh, uh, the, the smoke coming from the ship is polluting our land. So we don't want to see again. Is that what you are telling me? That all the pipeline, all your refinery pipeline, gas fuel stations all over Biafra land are now better off than, 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 than the sheep. Think about it. Try to find out what were they thinking. Oh, but a couple of is temporarily shut down. We want to reconnect the electric bulb there. What were they thinking? Yes, Enugu is temporarily locked down. We will do it before it start. What were they thinking? The, our land is not strong for airport. During the war, men built airport. During the war, men built plane. Here in Biafra land, find out what were they thinking when they shut down the seaport? What were they thinking when they shut down our airport and seaport? But I can tell you what they are thinking. We will frustrate these people. We will deal with them in Nigeria. This is what they are thinking. He said in a job, man, we will show him that oil and bias have belonged to Jigawa. You think they don't know what they are saying? Don't you understand the figure of speech you use there? You can come from bias and be yapping. We all saw you. We all saw you. You are idiot because they are using it to develop another place. They flag off projects in Kano and Kaduna, fly over us everywhere, round about everywhere. Then there are some idiots there who will tell you, oh, we are not eating cucumber. Bayasa State is doing well in plantation of cucumber. But you won't understand. When you are doing what you are doing, they are passing their law, let them do anything. If Igbo man like, let them travel the whole world, they will never have a port. We must search them. When they, when they go out, we will search them. When they are coming in, we will search them. Is that not what Yoruba and Aosa are doing? And somebody say, no, 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 don't say it. Thunder will fire all of you. Find out what they were thinking. That day they say, they, we will never allow Biafra to have any international airport. This is what they were thinking. Let me help you see the picture clearly. 
Yoruba and our south one Nigeria. They went inside and said, Don't worry, leave Ibo man. He's showing sense, Abi. He is the highest traveler, Abi. We will teach them lesson. We must search him when he's going out, and we must search him when he's coming back. Can you land in your village? You that is saying, Don't cause Yoruba, don't cause our south Fulani, don't cause British government. Can you land in your village? Sometimes it's preferable to land in Ghana or Kutunu to be able to come home. But they will still be on the road to check you. They have concluded. This is what they are thinking. And so you will never have this airport. Hey, they are importer and exporter. Do you know what you were thinking? We must search your container. Today now, I also have become importer and exporter without leaving uh, uh, the zoo called Nigeria. Why? It's your container they are seizing. When you enter, you think they love you. Oh, Alhaji, Alhaji, <laughs> Alhaji, yes. Alhaji say yes. How many containers I bring here? Cool. He said, Alhaji, it's only 30. Business is not too good. Alhaji say, eh, 30. Alhaji will talk to the other full animal. They say that 30, we own 25. And then the next thing, Alhaji will say, oh, this container, something is wrong somewhere. You have to come back. Come today, come tomorrow. One month, you won't clear that container. By the time they are done with you one year, if they even give you one, you will go to Yoruba church and give thanksgiving. Oh, no, no get sense. Oh, thank God, do I brought 50 containers. Hey, God, they seized, but they left one for me. At least I was able to sell it, and then I now use the money to return back. They are waiting for you. If you know what they are thinking about you, you will know what they are going to do next. That is why here in IPOB, we know what they are thinking about us. We know what they are going to do next, and we are waiting for them. You are our concern, because you can't see clearly. Ask yourself a question. What was Adeboye thinking when he went to lead a uh, peaceful walk without saying a word? And he put on Nigerian flag. It's supposed to be morning, putting on black. What was he thinking? Go and find out. You will hate yourself if you are worshipping in Yoruba church this morning. You will hate yourself. What was he thinking? We have their video. We have their video. If you here was to be TV station, I'll be playing the video for you. How they are protesting again. Good luck. Where is Tunde Bakari, that idiot? Every morning, all these people you call intellectual, they will gather in Ojota bus stop with black card. Good luck, resign. Good luck, resign. You can't rule us. You can't rule us. Now they are not talking again. They are not doing mood protest. And they are, uh, what were you thinking? What were they thinking when they deliberately? What were they thinking when they made the head of every government parasitator to be Fulani? This is a question Yoruba should ask themselves. This is a question our should you ask themselves. This is a question beyond Niger Delta, Upland, the River Line, Bottom Line. What do you think they were thinking? Where they remove on there? Everywhere, Boko Haram, Fulani. Nigerian Army, Fulani. Nigerian Police, Fulani. Nigerian Kidnapper, Fulani. Nigerian President, Fulani. Nigerian Idiot, Fulani. Everywhere, they, even up to the highest idiot, Fulani. Every position, good or bad, Fulani. What do you think they were, they were, they were, they were thinking? They, they love one Nigeria. They are helping to protect us. Is right? I want you to go and check all the record now. Nigerian highest monkey, Fulani. Nigerian most intelligent, Fulani. Nigerian most hopeless, Fulani. Nigerian Boko Haram, Fulani. Nigerian Luta, Fulani. Everywhere they are in charge. What do you think they were thinking? What do you think they were thinking? What do you think they were thinking? When they see all this evil happening and they say nothing about it. A lot of atrocity is going on in Nigeria, but they don't say anything about it. They see the evil everywhere. They don't say anything. They are there displaying their wife. Yes, the honorable, honorable. You can see, I come here with my four respectable wife. And those women are not ashamed. Your husband is bringing you to showcase you and you are there uh, coming up. Oh, God. Oh God, this year alone, only January alone, over 320 Christians have been slaughtered. What are you thinking? Only January, only month of January, if 300 Christians have been killed in Nigeria in January alone, check it how many per day, which means 30 divided by 300. 
I know it's more than that. So you should know how many Christians that are being sacrificed every day. And your G.O., he didn't come out and say, enough of it is enough. How can you kill Mr. Tunde? How can you kill Mr. Ikechuku? How can you kill this person? How can you keep this person? We demand them to be brought to justice. This cannot continue in our land. Christians will no longer keep quiet. They keep, they shut up. And you have a holy protest. No, he's doing holy protest. Your, the question is, what are they thinking in their hearts? He's doing holy protest. And uh, the, the other ones are killing you, holy killing. They, it's, it's, although it's equivalent, holy killing to holy protest. The Muslim kill you as a Christian, holy. It is holy unto Allah. And then the, the four one night pastor will, will mourn you, holy morning. If you are unable to understand all they are thinking about you, you will not be able to understand the next line of action as this their thought and action is what will redesign your tomorrow. If you can understand their thought and checkmate them, that is the only true time that your future can be guaranteed. The thought and intention of the people who create Nigeria, who handle one Nigeria, is never for any of you to see good. Both the children of the Luther and the Luthers, all of them will fall. They will be hunted down. Both the children of the poor and the miserable people will not be spared. They place a pendulum in place, a pendulum that the more you try to rectify or correct the problem, it creates more chaos. If you are sincere enough to tell yourself the truth, you will see that technology-wise or otherwise, Nigeria has never progressed positively in any sector. On daily basis, they go backward. That is because that is how the creator of the zoo called Nigeria wants it to be. And those slaves who found themselves in the zoo did not understand this. And so when you see idiot like Kenneth Okenko among other useless animals, who oh, our Nigeria is good, we are going to work our Nigeria very healthy, you ask them, why is it that there is no single federal government present in the whole of Southeast? Why is it that the only federal government present in South-South is Hoye Pipeline, which you are killing yourself to be gate man? Do you know they are taught? They are taught for you is that you see evil and you will die miserably. Without the ordinary headache, we kill you. You don't know people in America don't suffer typhoid fever or malaria fever. I doubt if any American child today know what is malaria. They can only read it in the book. May the Lord be with you. Reading from Biafran Scott Talents.
every black man stand Stand up for your right Of course, Africa will never be free until Biafra is restored. It is as simple as that. You go to school, you in your thousand, I say Biafra, you enter university. They don't care for you. They don't go to school because they know what they are thinking about you. Just go and study. Go and waste the next eight years or six years or four years in the university and come back and push you by road. And when they tell you that they abandoned Okada, have you thought what they are, why they abandoned Okada and Kekena Pepe? Oh, they are trying to protect us in victim. Have Boko Haram not killed more people in Nigeria more than uh, Ukada accident? But you don't know what they are thinking. You don't, you don't bother to know. But we know this evil. We just can't contain this evil. This evil cannot continue. When they tell you they are Nigerian, this is our one Nigeria, we're going to keep the one Nigeria, we are just... Go and look at Gowan dying in regret for the crime he has committed. His mind was that he's going to be giant of Africa. In less than one year after the war, he was removed by Buhari. Disgrace out of office while he was drinking wine in Uganda. What he thought, he never knew he would happen to his people today. I call upon bureau people, go and pray for forgiveness and deliver the next generation for Fulani headsmen because God once sued all of you to Fulani. He never knew British government has a different thought. He never knew Fulani were here for another purpose. And those of you glamouring, oh, we're going to build our one Nigeria, we're going to repair our one Nigeria. Have you considered their thought? And each time we wake up as Christians, and we know, he said, I know the thought I have for you. They are thought of good and not evil, that I may give you your expected end. We know also that there are people who are over our life, taskmasters. They have said to us, we know the thought we have for you. Do we deal with this one, this one Nigeria? You will go to school and you will not be employed. You can have for you, you will not know how crude or you look like. We know the thought we have for you. If you set up any security to defend your land, we will call you terrorists. You will never be respected. You will never be honored. We know the thought we have for you. And they are playing it out. And we are clapping our hands. You know, we're going to pray to the Lord. And the Lord is going to intervene. Was that how they are praying to the Lord to intervene in America? If it were to be by prayer, I can assure you that Nigeria will be the best country in the world. A country where pastors come out and tell you, I'm going to build, oh, yeah, they will have told you in short, he's going to build 10,000 branch of Winners Chapel to manufacture more idiots. Because the church has just been producing idiots without apology. And so when he tell you, do you know the intent of his heart? On Oyedebo school, can any of your children attend it except you are a politician stealing from Nigerian coffer? Oh, do you want to win the Nigeria for Jesus Christ? But Jesus Christ is blessing America, blessing Dubai, blessing British government, all the whole colonial master. Jesus is blessing all of them. But you people, they are feeding on their misery. It looks to me he has gone out of there. Have you considered their thought and action? Don't deceive yourself. We know what these people are thinking. And so we know their next line of action. We are only being ready for them. From the abundance of the heart does the mouth speak. You are a Biafran anywhere. You are still becoming intellectual. You, you are thin, you don't, you are not able to perceive what is coming. May the Lord be with you. That's the highest I can say to you. It will get to you. It will get to you. But don't wait until that time. One thing we have made up our mind is that if we must die because of this struggle, we will decide how it's going to end. No idiot will tell us how it's going to end. We will tell you. Look five people be family closer to you and join. We just made one promise. Our mission is simple. Divide Nigeria. Let the indigenous people be free. Because in the next 10 years, there will be no Gwari man. Fulani will take over Gwari land. They claim in Abuja already. Where are Gwari people? Biron people will be dead. 
divide Nigeria and Satan Kadona will be dead, Yoruba will be dead, everybody will be dead because British government has armed Fulani to kill everybody. But of course, they can't stop Biafra because we have redefined our stand. Our mission is simple destroy Nigeria and free the indigenous people. Send us your name, your phone number, and your location on our WhatsApp line. We will connect you to the nearest coordinator. And that WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. Our direct line, I repeat again, is 081-221-52971. And the special number for the female is 081-288-58614. Special number for the female, 081-288-58614. And of course, at this moment, our lines are open. Call on WhatsApp, are you still there? Yes, sir. Martin Dewo, good afternoon from here. Dewo, I'm Oyeka Chikali from Malaysia. Uh, I'm from Umaya province. Yes, uh, Mazi, sometimes when I call in uh, on your program, I became confused. I be, I lost, so I don't know what to say anymore. Because I think uh, sometimes you always say our people, especially our people from the, our Biafran, uh, our people from the South, South, and the so-called Southeast and all that. Uh, most of them always, when you meet them online, they will say, oh, enough talk, we have been talking, we have been talking. My reply to them is very soon, we, you people will be crying, we, we are, you will say we are, we are always shooting, 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 not only talking, talking. Now, what I'm trying to say is that uh, you made a statement about uh, back, uh, Tumbe Bakari and the pastors. I don't even know, it's just, you, you just caught my attention. I have to review the, the suit, the pastor, the uh, redeemed pastor was wearing green, white, green. This is to tell you, this send a message to our people to know that I begin to believe that his, Yoruba his will dressing, be the last his people. dressing in our language is simple. The message is clear. That is what he's just telling us. His message is very clear. It's simple. He's just telling Nigerians, because, I don't enter one chance. Because I have to go and review the, the, the picture of what he, he was hearing. And I know. This is this is that is that is this is this how this man want to play with the intelligence of uh, our our people from the, the because I know that uh, it's evil people that make up all these churches that they, that today you are hearing uh, all these churches that you are hearing the team and all the days our people all over the world is making it happen. So I don't have much to say. Now, just the same our, Muslim. Of course, of course, of course. More than I begin to believe. But what I have to say is that uh, I don't have much to say. Let our people hear this gospel, embrace it, and know what they need to, to do the needful. Yes, I know it's not. It's very, it's very, it's very difficult. Common sense is not easy. It's not cheap. It's something that you just have to. By the grace of God, you have it. So I don't have much to say. I want to thank you. May God bless you. Bless your family. Bless IPOP all over the world. Also bless our leader. Uh, thank you from here. Thank you very much. Bye. It is simple. There is no father that will have a son. And you see your son growing up in a very stupid way. And you are, you are pampering your son. You get angry and you use the rod. We can never you hate me, friends. Do you know this brother, these people, please? It's because of uh, their friends that made them to close this border and see them they could. Because they say that if they close this border, so that the Biafran people will not see food, especially Igbo people, they will not see food to be eaten. That when you want to get the Biafran people, make sure that they don't have food, so that they will be weak in fighting or something like that. But when Biafran people, they have food, they will like to fight more than 100 years without giving up. But when you want to get them, don't give them food. That's why this border you see them close. Then, so, so they will be hungry. Then I said, and, and, and uh, another one, like uh, uh, this, 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 uh,
people, this is many people that are portraying uh, our leaders home. They are all right. They are all right. They are all right. All these lies that are portraying our leaders this in they are right. And another one is this. This uh, effort, this thing that we will talk, if you see how these people used to portray people in effort, if you see how these people are portraying people in effort, even if they give me kill, I know they take that kill. I used, I used to say that kill. Because when you take the kill, they give you to buy something to do this thing. It's problem in this matter. If, if, if you are Igbo man, you, if you are Igbo man, you want to I'm know how Nigerian function. Change your change your name and answer Yoruba in your passport. So you know that you are not in the same country with Yoruba man. Change your name as Igbo man to Yoruba name and travel. So that you know that Nigeria embassy used to buy mineral for Nigerians traveling abroad. There is one day, there is one day I cry in, uh, in airport. Why I cry in airport? There is one pastor man. He's a different, he's a different man. But he showed me that rock on that day in airport. I'm telling you the truth. If you see, not, I didn't carry anything, no. But that different man, he showed God on me. Even if they, after they need me to go, they tell him that I carry another one. That's the control of that custom man, that evil man. Even if he find me come outside to come and check my box, I just open my box here and say there's nothing in there. For instance, if you don't see the everything, I just open my box for them to see that nothing is there. Even if the man sees it, why I'm crying in that airport, that all the way they, they, they want to, all these house people, they want to collect for me. Because I don't need to tell them that I don't have money. But I don't have that money that I they are catching me or something like that. So the man tell me to, because he is the controller of that place, he told me to go. I started crying. I collected that man's number. When I come back, I call him. Tell him, can, can I bring Gary for him? He said, he don't want. On another day, I got sent for this man. The time I went to airport, I didn't see him. And one day I see him, I say, I'm, I'm looking for you. For so what you have done to me. He didn't collect sushi because of his love. You know, he showed for me. Because if you collect that money from me, I would be happy. But he showed me that love. Like that our brother that said that they, are, they arrested uh, many people in this thing. They said that you know, people will pay for 10,000 naira. The Yoruba people and the Outer people will pay to 2,000 naira. But when you come back, you see our people that where they are holding them, they ask them what is the problem. He said that they collected 2,000 from others. But he, he said that they didn't have that 2,000. He collected that 2,000. He said that they said him, they said that he didn't privatize him or something like that. If you see this people, what they are doing in airport, you regret yourself. That's why I'm just bringing this topic. That's why I'm telling you to. Okay, now even if you are trying, they will tell you, say, how much do you have? You will declare that money. Look, if you have money that costs that ten thousand dollars, yeah, 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 your yeah, 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 sorry, you yeah, are sorry. They will collect all this money. They will lender you use it. You will be human. We will touch you. Like you carry this week. But when you travel to abroad, sir, when you go to the place, the same way you declare your money. When you say, how much do you have? When you, because you will see some form. When you say, how much do you have? Immediately you will show, you will show them. They cannot even tell to pass it. They will just pass you away. Do stuff for you. For Nigeria, you will declare that money. Hey! I'm telling you the truth. Even if the truck they use for you will put your hand on your luggage, it's free. But Nigeria is 500 naira. 500 naira, everything, money, money. What person will hijack everything? If you see all these people, what they are doing in airport, they are all criminals. Criminals, I'm telling you. 
Hadithi kwa ya tanzi kwa Ewe 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 Smoke na kukari Problem Problem Ok now look at this God of the soul There is one of us a man He used to carry rice Every week This man is carrying rice Passing border He said that nobody will work with him There is one uh, evil customer, evil custom. Go so and hold that, uh, hold that, uh, uh, the, the answer man that carry rice. He carry the rice to come and drop them. You know what this custom people, the answer people, the plan people ask them. Who is the owner of the rice? Even if the man they hold the rice, he just throw his hand that watching that man that holding his rice. The answer people ask him, who is the, who is the owner of the rice? They don't say that the man they hold the right. They tell that custom man to carry the right to give him that man back. That's why the custom carry this man that the people is his ego. If you see the way they use the heroes and carry the right to people's rights, we just cut, you will tell that if something is missing. If people rights they are carrying with that cut, even if you put the right in your handbag, or oh, 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 they will collect it. This person, this brother, this brother, this brother. All my time, the most beautiful people come and remove those people there. They thought that if they told their brother, that people in this the Republic, they will not eat. They are eating. They are not eating by the strength of this uh, Nigeria people or oil. This Africa, you know, we have already heard that had 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 something we used to bye bye thank you very much we must bye continue bye. call her on whatsapp are you still there call her on whatsapp call her on whatsapp are you still there you are moot call her on whatsapp you are moot Call on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? Ah, good, good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Ah, good morning. Nous 
Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my brother. Good morning. My, uh, my name is uh, Maze uh, Uche Nwaeke. Uche Nwaeke is from our mama, but right now I'm calling from Angola. Bless you, my brother. Because every morning, before I go to my business, I'll drink the tea, the morning tea. And that morning tea is your program. Because whenever I had the whenever I had the program, when I go to my business, I will feel so happy. Then in the night when I come back again, I will eat the night food. The night eat food is a program. They always give me joy. And at that side, order Biafra. Uh, my, my name, why I'm saying this in is uh, since I've started listening to the radio, uh, Biafra, since 2015. All this uh, church, Yoruba church or whatever, I don't even like them again. Because of uh, when I hear the voice of our leader and other presenter in the radio, Biafra, I will be so happy. Bless our leader. Bless the deputy which is more for are you George and all the whole presenter in the radio Biafra. What I know that Biafra will if we must get it in the name of Tuku Kikabiam. There's nobody who can stop us. And my brothers, I always thank you every time you 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 make a program, you always announce people to come and join IPOB. You know, and our people are so stubborn that many of them like to listen. You know, they like to answer their friend by mouth, but come out and participate. Come out and join their fellow brothers so that all of us can join hand and get this Biafra. They will turn it after, after, just like here in Angola. So many of them here, they want to be Biafra. They don't want to come out and come and support with their little money they have. Either that they wish the money to go and drink and do other things. The next time they tell that they are Biafra. You know, and when they should say, ah, in the IPOV. But I'm happy, I'm, I'm very happy today that anything that our leader is doing, we are seeing the result. Whatever thing that he said in Radio Biafra, we are seeing the result. We are learning every day. That is why I say every morning, I always drink this tea. Because when I had the program in the morning, I, when I go to my business, I will be so happy, and which is other Biafra. So what am I might try to say, our brothers, open your eye, the time I've come. The time I've come, open your eye. Because when you open your eye and hear the radio Biafra and, the, and, the, uh, and hear the news, by the time our brother was saying, bring your, write your phone number and listen. You write your phone number, you direct it to the, the, wherever the country you are, the IPOB you will join. Like as I'm talking to you now, next week, Monday, we are having our meeting. Every day, we always said it. We have, we have a meeting last week, Monday, in Olubi restaurant. If you know that you are living here in Angola, you are living... Uh, Afokombe, Kalimba Dodge, Golf Dodge, Popular. Come to meet you in Olubi restaurants. Everybody knows Olubi restaurants here in Angola. So what I might try to say, we are expecting you next week, Monday, by four o'clock. Let us come and join hand. What started our meeting since January. Because this year, nothing like uh, maybe Christmas or whatever. We start our meeting earlier as January. So this next week, Monday, we are going to do our second meeting in a, in a month. So my brothers and sisters here in Angola, I'm expecting you. The worst part of it is our women here in Angola, they don't even care about IPOB. And we have a lot of women, some of our brothers who bring their wife here in Angola, but they don't even know what is IPOB. Even though their husband self is not serious, how much more they are their wife. I'm telling you nothing but the truth, my brother. We have a lot of women here in Angola, but none of them know what is uh, uh, IPOB or where they are doing their meeting. Both their husband, they don't even care. But they want to be a father. I don't know how the be will come when they are not coming to support. So we are expecting many of them here in Angola on Monday to come to, to come uh, meeting in Olubi restaurants. You may say, oh, I don't know where it's Olubi restaurants. You can call our, our, our coordinator. Mr. Onyeka, our national coordinator, the, 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 the number of telephone is uh, 925 um, 483830. I repeat again, 
and the 30. That's our national coordinator. He can call his number anywhere. He has stayed here in uh, Luanda, in Angola. Call his number so they can come and participate in the meeting. Then, or he can call my own number. My name is Ma Uche, one Eke. Two for them here is Uche Biafra. That is what they call him here in Angola. He can call my, he, he can call my number, 945-392. 541. I repeat again. 945 uh, 392-541. So that you can call to the meeting as Ulubi Restaurant. That is where we are doing a meeting. Next week, Monday, we are expecting all the whole people to Thank come. Thank you very much. Because this before we must get it. It's on the most. Not by sitting aside looking for maybe Mazoni or Mazana the Kalu only he will get it. That tomorrow they say we are Biafra. Come out and join. May you come up with God and my blessing, my brother. And I'm happy for the tea you are giving to us every morning. And also my prayer this morning, all the whole heart call all over the whole world. May you come up with God and my blessing. Whatever you are doing in your life, you must get prosperity. And you people are living there in Biafra land. May God of Almighty continue to protect you for the hand work of the hand of a fool and man. Uh, all those you job people who fool our right. Our land. What I know that we must get our share for the name of Chukukika Dama, I put it. Amen. Thank you, Mazi. Caller on the line. God bless you, my dear. 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 You people will live to see Biafra and beyond in the name of Chukotika Diamo. I pray that the burial of our beloved parents and for kings shall be a success. Thank God, burial. That person shall die shamelessly in the name of Chukotika Diamo. I have prayed. My dear, the thing they are doing to us. We know our enemies and we know they are not against us. The word of God even told us that the enemy has come to steal, to destroy. And that enemy is who? And that devil is who? Is Fulani. The Fulanese are the animals that are brought into the world so that they will destroy humanity. But the only part of it is that we humanity allow them to use their power. They have no power, but it's we humanity that is empowering them to continue to do it. Okay, look at the saboteurs in their land. They are empowering Fulanese. They even sent a, a, a chief that stole the mandate of the people, say that he will uh, uh, put them in his, uh, in his uh, uh, cabinet. Now, when he put all this monstrous animal into his cabinet, what will happen? Will he have a mouth to speak against what they are doing? That is the problem. They thought that uh, because of money, they will sell their soul to devil. Then uh, they so called the uh, Papa G.O. that is uh, parading himself, disgracing himself, fooling himself, thinking that he's fooling the whole world. They are all, all apathetic men. They deceive their, their congregation. And their congregation stupidly followed them out to come. Look at the whole body uh, 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 guy that he has. The doctor will not save him any day if it's time for God to call him back. Okay, during the time of Jonathan, before he went to a rally, he announced his week. He said that they are going to. But honor people, I was moving around without saying that. Is that how to do a, a rally? Then what is the topic of his rally? If he knows something, what is the topic of his rally? He thought he would deceive us. Don't know that God is higher than them. God will destroy all of them one after the other. God is putting them to shame. They don't even know what they are doing. They don't know. So I'm calling out the actors all over the world. Please. Rally. We lost that caller, but we must continue. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mazi. Good morning, Mazi. Go ahead, please. Yes, my name is Obi Mane Chibike. 
calling from the state of Israel. Mazi, thank you very much this morning. Mazi, uh, uh, such a very intelligent officer. It was now that you are saying this that I went back to the video of uh, Adeboye. And I really see that he was wearing green, white, green. The stripe on the neck of that his suit was white and the suit was green. And he walked slowly without mentioning, saying anything, just carry placard without saying anything. That, that's a, you rightly target a holy, a holy march or a prayer march. And he's not trying to tell us that he has protested. Maze, one more thing is that they think that they are fooling us, but one day, I think the children of Israelites, when they are in Egypt, they are enjoying, but the time comes when a pharaoh that does not know Joseph arrived, the whole thing changed. They think that they are fooling us. One day, the Boko Haram commander that will not know they will come, and they will still suffer what the general masses are suffering today. The idea they have killed a, a, a cashier man, they did not do anything. One day you get to them. Recently, I think on Sunday, a, a, a suicide bomber went to uh, uh, Winner Chapel to bomb there. And at the end of the day, they changed the name of this man and called him um, somewhere Nathaniel. And Jemaike Rosemary. His name now becomes yeah. Jemaike Rosemary. But we know what they are thinking, even before they are out. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so what are they thinking when they change the name of this man and call him uh, somewhere Nathaniel? Why, where his real that, name that is Mohammed Nassim if, if I tell you that guy has become the next senator in Nigeria, it will amaze you. Because what they do now is they put him in army, train him, then the next time he's a senator displaying how many wives he has. That is what they do. Yes. What's the, the kind of car they used to carry a suicide bomber? If to say in an IPOB family meeting that, that they just come, they will carry the parade, the whole DSA, the whole jet fighter, but they use a, a car, carry him, petting him inside the car. This is the height of injustice we are experiencing in Nigeria. But one day, we surely come back to them. They will cry the last cry. And to other Christians in Nigeria, every day we talk this thing on Radio Biafra, but you people do not want to listen. You people keep on going to Yoruba church. They say that, you people read in the Bible that the blood of Jesus Christ was used to clean the sins of the world and bring salvation to human beings. It's like they want to use the blood of Christians in Nigeria to bring salvation to Nigeria. If you people need it like that, we will go by that. Your blood will bring salvation to all of us. Then we will enjoy it. So it's better you rise up now or they will use their blood to bring salvation. I think the blood of Jesus Christ has saved all of us all once and for all. You still want your blood to be used again to bring a fresh salvation. That means the salvation of Jesus Christ is waste. So it's better you stand up now or you people will perish. It's now or never. Don't allow your daddy Gio to deceive you. If they cannot save the cashier man, how much more about you, a puppet, a servant in, in, the, in their business industry? Stand now and stand forever. Thank you very much, Mazi. Thank you, and we must continue. Your friends across the globe must find out what are they thinking when they make certain discussion. What are they thinking? Call out on the line. I don't want you online. Good morning, sir. My atomic bomb. Daddy, I thank you this very morning because of the daily manner you have given to me again. Agamaru wande ni mara puwo mizu country yo so buche ni fo la biafra agama wandi rom mara puwo mizu country yo so ro jojo ni yo la biafra agama wandi rom mara puwo mo Nigeria o so ro nande kano. La Biafra, Gama Gwandi Rum Nara Puomu, Zoo Country, Soro Jojo Nibi La Biafra. I am very proud enough to tell my enemies that I have abandoned I have also abandoned that they are so called stupid country. I have realized we are all to do. Thank you. Thank you, Uchimi Four. Thanks, and the Kano. Thank you, every other principal officers. Those who know the man, the king, whom they are following, as Mazin Namdekano. 
Thank you all of you. Because we are all human beings. And before Chucky, they create the head, the hands, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the leg. We know the reason why he did so. Some of us are the head. Some of us are the legs. Some of us are the hands. Some of us are the ears. Some of us are the mouth. Some of us are the eyes. Sure, Kiki, may your name be praised this morning. My brother, it is not a new thing. Neither is he a strange thing. To we who knows and know who we are. We can only be fooling those who don't know themselves. Whether Pastor Adeboye or Oyede or whatever they call themselves, who are a king in the kingdom of Illuminati, who are parenting themselves, if you go to their website, you will know that indeed they are the real satanic pastors. They came not to give life. They came not to give words. They came not to give strength. They came not to give hope. But they have come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But according to Shi Okike, the creator of the heavens and the earth, he said, Woe unto them and to, the full, to their followers. Whether he parade himself, or whether he did what he did, or whether he never did, why didn't he speak out? Is he not a deaf and dumb pastor? Oh, my people, those who still believe in one Nigerian, even before you say, I am a Nigerian, come and see how stupid you are. Then your stupidity will be there. Your stupidity will come before you, even before you mention that Nigeria. You see how stupid men of God are? They said it doesn't concern me, it doesn't concern me. But I thank you, okay, okay. He that has given the power for our enemies to destroy those who are backing them. Today, whatever he calls himself, think that he has escaped, he never escaped. As soon as he went out, to parade himself, he has even introduced himself very, very well, clearly, to the hands of some of his men. <laughs> he should wait his own time. If they can, assistant can be destroyed after the money they raised. Who is he? Is he carrying two heads? The answer is no. I thank you, Kiki. Who made me to know who I am? I thank Mazinam the Kanos, George Onido, which who has brushed brush the stupidity that is in me and that was in me. And today, I can probably say this is who I am. And I thank you, okay, who made, who made came zone one, uh, sorry, who made came zone two? Who made came zone two, Mazi and Kanaya, a.k.a. Madukai Naria. He made it mention to each and every one of us, if you know you are a hypocrite, do not come to our zone. If you know you are still serving Shiokike, and the game at night, you go and serve Nigerian government. Because if you say, I'm, I'm not a saboteur, I'm not a saboteur, but you are going to their church, you are worse than a saboteur. In my zone, the announcement has gone to everybody. If you know you are in Ume Chenzo too, step out from the church. Tell it to step out from the church. You can look for another zone. We want to know who we are. His deputy has been hammering Zanlem Batista. He has been hammering. If you know, you know, and you know that you are still going to church, step out of IPOP. I all you can join other place because we make him too. We want to then, we then, no, we tell them to join the step out of IPOP. I think that is I the am, wrong English to use. Okay, sorry, sir. But let everybody come back to their normal senses and know they are gone. And the IPOP, wherever you are, if I have spoken a word that, has, that is not supposed to be, I am sorry. I apologize. But I'm trying to tell you people, my dear, call your she by his name. Call your she by his name. He said, if a white man says God, he is calling it by his own name and their language. We, we are calling it Chu Uku. We are calling it by our own name. May them deceive you. Do not be deceived. For the battle land has been drawn. They said the word in 1970. 
that the war has not the war has not ended in the mind of the politicians. The war has not ended in the mind of governors. The war has not ended in the mind of senators. The war has not ended in the mind of Nigerian animals. That war is still going. In Abad they are killing. In Abad they are kidnapping. In Abad they are still destroying. In Abad they are still raping. I told my hair right two weeks ago to last week what Awusa Fulani are doing. They will carry their, back, their, their, their properties in the name of selling. Immediately your body scratches their body. Your manhood will vanish. Uh, dear friends, be careful, dear lads. Dear friends, be wise as your father. The king who creates you. Dear friends, be wise. I never you. I don't want to know who you are. But all I'm telling you, the hand that you have gotten, you have, that, that hand that feeds you, Today you are bringing me back to destroy your people because you cannot stand to say I am a man of God. Who are you governing? Okay, look at it. In the days of old, they said that men of God in evil language, they call them Ude Ozuzu Atoro. Now, are they still Ude Ozuzu Atoro? But rather, Atoro Nasu Zeha. Atoro Nasu Zeha. The men of God do go for the weaker ones to raise them up. But today, the men of God are abandoning the weaker ones to the hands of their enemies. And the lions, the wolves, who are flying his men, are eating them up day in and day out. Mechio Kiki, this morning, bless you, protect you, strengthen you so that you will give you another delicacy in the evening. Strengthen you so that you will give you another food tomorrow morning. May the name of Chio Kiki be praised. You are blessed, Mechio. You are blessed, no you. You are blessed, Nanko. You are blessed, Nafo. Ka, who was the game in me? Zero did the camera. Yano, one of my papa. You put the dictator. On your Venetia, you should give me one aja. No rent in your brewer. You talk of that, you have to shoot You say, Thank you very much. Kona, what's up? Are you still there? Yeah. Not sure, neither. Good morning. Go ahead. Yeah, my name's uh, Mazi. My boy is Akota. My boy is Akota is from Amandoba in Isu, LGA, or province, Biafra land. Uh, Mazi, you need it. May Chuku Kikabia my bless and guide you. Because if someone who stands behind and say, all these things you have been launching, all these things you have been doing, that there's no attack coming to you. That person is, is, is deceiving himself. I know, both physically, spiritually, and otherwise, Nigeria and their evil are attacking you and both our Mazin and the Carlo and Mefo. But they fail to understand one particular thing. They fail to understand one particular thing. I still repeat it. From the day Nigeria government arrest our leader to the day he woke up from the prison, none of the day, each, every day, more than 10 million Biafrans will lay prayer upon our leader. They don't know the protection. They don't know the 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 fence, the fire surrounding him. So let that fire continue to surrender every IPOB and principal officer working assiduously for the restoration of Biafra, a mighty name of Chukuku Kikabiama. So about what we are discussing this morning, Mazi, I understand that each time a member of church have a problem and go to the pastor pastor will pray and ask him to receive it and that past, that past brother will go expecting that to receiving expecting what he have received with all faith but each time a pastor have problem the members will put hand into their pockets and contribute money to solve pastor's problem a a a, a, a member of a can was killed for this 50 million, just for the sake of 50 million, with the, the Christians delay. And they, they are there to forget that I know that a, a one man, a man that called himself pastor and GO of a church, 
is moving with a helicopter worth of 250 billion naira. But this man was killed. The whole Christians in the whole world cannot fast produce 50, 000, 50 million naira for the sake of this man. But somebody can purchase a, a plane of 250 billion naira. I have seen that there is nothing, Christians are deceiving themselves, and mainly all this Yoruba church. Come to the other side. Mazoni, I took I, I take a little time to move around both other states, rivers, and other places. There is something I found out. Do you know that in any place you go, any place you went to, you will see Aosa in every junction. If a thought is in the market, they will be at the middle of the market, at the extreme end of the market, at the beginning of the market. If it's in the streets, they will be at the roundabout of the street. If it's the, uh, um, uh, along the road, they will be at the middle of that road doing their business peacefully, doing whatever they are doing peacefully. Wherever you go, you will see our some man with their, uh, what, what they, whatever they call themselves, doing their business either by the side of the market, at the middle of the market, at the junction of the road, at the roundabout of the street, everywhere. None of them you will see that will rent shop. If they want to rent shop, there will be the shop opposite the road or at the strategic places in any place they find themselves. I started to reason what is the meaning of this thing? What are these people doing? What are their plans? But I come into conclusion over what is happening. Each time you have that IPOB is hot, watch around, move around, you must find out somewhere. Working with some of our God level dear friends to make sure they sabotage what we are doing. But I am happy today because any person, if you give somebody with the left hand, you still collect with your right hand. Whatever. Fulanis are doing whatever they are planning against Biafra. All this whole thing is boomeranging back to them. Because they cannot tell me when the children of Chukwoki Kabiyama start on the Federal High Court of Abuja and just lay a curse upon Mohammed Buhari. Then he was alive, I know. To today, where is Buhari? Because he separated our leader from his family. At the same time, Chukwoki Kadama separated him from his family. But people don't understand. And I still have a kind of soft mind over our people, but I don't have it anymore. So what I'm still saying, what I'm still saying is this. Whoever that is involved in sabotaging, in sabotaging of our Biafra restoration, that person, his generation must be sabotaged. His lineage must be sabotaged. Mazo Nibe, continue your work. Any person, any human being, any being born of a woman, no matter who you are, even if spirit or angel that say that Biafra, Agage Nwisi, Age Jisi, Ame Biafra Nwisi. Thank you and goodbye from here. All right, announcement, announcement, announcement. It's an announcement here. There will be a three-day fasting and prayer for IPOB Biafrans worldwide. From Thursday 6th to the Saturday 8th of February 2020. The theme of the prayer is, and the fasting is God's intervention during the burial of Mars Vietnam, the Carlos parents. Psalm 85, 8 to 9, Psalm 116, 15. On the day one of the fasting, send your angels to secure Biafra land throughout the burial period and beyond. Oh God. Exodus 23, 23. Exodus 32, 2. Numbers 22, 23 dash 31. Joshua 5, 13 dash 14. 2 Kings 1932-35, Matthew 26-53. Pray that there will be no rain throughout the burial week from 10th to the 16th of February. 1 Kings 17, 1 Job 
12-14, James 5, 17-18, Isaiah 44, 24-27, Matthew 16-19. On the day two, that's on the seventh, that God will incapacitate the army of Nigeria, that they will not be able to disturb or kill the Afrans from now henceforth. Exodus 14, 13, 14, 23, dash 30, Psalm 35, 1, dash 8, Isaiah 37, 33, dash 36, Isaiah 49, 24, dash 26, Jeremiah 10, 25, Jeremiah 30, 16, 2, Yozolians 1, dash 16, B, pray that God will provide everything needed. For the ceremony, even surplus. Numbers 11, 21 23. 2 Kings 4, 42 44. 2 Kings 7, 1 Matthew. 14, 15 21. Philippines 4, 19. On day 3, that's on the 8th, pray that the 14th February will, be, will mark. The beginning of freedom of the African nation. Esther 9, 1 28. Psalm 11, 1, 1, Psalm 1101 1 16. Psalm 125, 1 5. Psalm 126, 1 4. We thank God for answering our prayer. Psalm 106, 1 12. Psalm 112, 1 10. Psalm 114, 1 18. One can fast according to his or her capacity. Chiko Kika Biyama, who began the, the good work of restoration of the Biafra with Mahasena and the Kali, will finish it in our lifetime. He said, he said, he said, it is prepared by evangelists. Uh, uh, so, Kusa, uh, 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 signed by Mahasena Oscar, who is the head of the university, affairs of the team. Yes, of course, we must not forget as we go about our daily and lawful business across the globe, I want you to always ask yourself. I want you to always ask yourself. I want you to always ask yourself, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? Anytime they make any decision, anytime they implement any law, anytime they introduce any program, what do you think they are thinking about you? If you are able to understand what they are thinking, you'll be able to know what they will say next. And that thing they will say, you will be able to predict their action. Nigerians are very pathetic, I must tell you. And having said that, this is where we sign up on this morning segment. We must continue. Sincere appreciation to those of you who were able to call in. Apology to those that cannot take their call now. We'll still be here a few hours from now. Do have a pleasant day ahead of you. Feels so 
see make me wanna go. No matter what the people say, no matter what they do. Your friends, man, I'm full of good people. No matter what they do to bring us back. Forward never, backward never. Let me hear you say freedom. Brother, let me hear you say freedom. Let me hear you say freedom. My sister, let me hear you say no, no. freedom. Oh, yeah, nah. See me, I come from Japan.